A right-wing Dutch MP has been refused entry into the UK because of his anti-Islamic views. Geert Wilders was asked by a member of the House of Lords to show his film, which describes the Quran as a fascist book, in Parliament. Despite Home Office warnings that he wasn't welcome, the politician flew into Heathrow Airport, where he was stopped by immigration officials. Our Europe correspondent Robert Moore followed his attempt to get into the country. It was a nervous and chaotic arrival at the airport. Well, I uh, couldn't have a better welcome. I hope that proved a statement of some optimism. For just a few minutes later, the Dutch MP was being curtly informed by British officials he was not welcome at all. In fact, Geert Wilders was ordered to leave on the very next flight to Amsterdam. His views on Islam and the Quran are regarded by the Home Office as so extreme they would threaten public safety. On the plane to Heathrow, he told us the British government was guilty of cowardice. And even if you don't like me, even if you don't like my thoughts, um, um, be brave, be uh, a defender of the freedom uh, of speech. Allow me to enter your, uh, your country. If you don't, uh, you are weak. Uh, you are cowards. What do you say to those who suggest you are just being simply provocative for the sake of it? I'm not provocative. I'm an elected politician. By barring me from your country, if your government would decide that, uh, they are not only nasty to me, they are nasty to the freedom of speech and showing uh, that they are more Chamberlains than Churchills. And this is a very sad day for the United Kingdom. The controversy is centered around this film made by Mr. Wilders. It directly links the Quran to extreme terrorist acts. He was travelling to a screening of the film in the House of Lords, organised by Lord Pearson. I, I do think he has a right to say what he is saying, and particularly in the Mother of Parliaments. So uh, we are coming at this from the angle of free speech. This man must be allowed to say what he wants, and he must answer questions on it. There is no doubt that Mr Wilders has gravely offended many people. But even some Muslims say it would have been better if he had been allowed in, so they could have expressed their distaste face to face. The Dutch government is fiercely critical of the British decision, saying that EU politicians, unless convicted, must have freedom of movement. And who can doubt tonight that banning Mr Wilders has provided the radical Dutch politician with a bonanza of free publicity, which, as many critics say, is exactly what he craves. Robert Moore, ITV News, at Heathrow.